Today's adventure starts at Lucy's house. Lucy's elf and fairy party. <laughs> it's fun playing cards with you, Ben and Holly. Yes, we love coming to your house. It's my birthday soon and you can come to my party. That sounds brilliant. You could have a fairy party. Or an elf party. Yes, an elf and fairy party. And all my friends can come dressed up. I could do some party magic. Ooh, yes, please. Lucy, lunchtime. Better hide. Dad can be a bit funny about you two. Mum, Dad, I've decided to have an elf and fairy party for my birthday. That's nice, Lucy. And I've invited Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Now, Lucy, we've been through this. Elves and fairies aren't really real. Hello, Lucy's dad. <laughs> Hello there. We are real. Uh, but... But we can't have real elves and fairies at Lucy's birthday party. Why not, Dad? There'll be lots of other children, and they're not used to seeing real elves and fairies. We understand. Yes. See you later, Lucy. Bye. Bye. Holly was going to do some magic at my party. Well, I can do some magic tricks. Watch. Here's a coin. Now it's gone. Oh. What's this behind your ear? Oh, will you do a magic show at my party? Of course I will. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great. I've always wanted to go to a big kid's party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. <laughs> The thing, real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh. 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 Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great. Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray. Thanks, Thanks, Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic. And play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello. My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa. Quick, grab him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh. There's the birthday cake. Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 I wish we yeah, yeah. could dance with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, promise yeah, to keep yeah, out of yeah, sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Musical statues. When the music yeah, stops, yeah, everyone yeah, freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. Look. Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mum. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Hooray! Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic, just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! Ooh. You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practising. And now I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto. <laughs> it's Flopsy, my pet rabbit. Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, do it again. Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No, Strawberry. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, another rabbit. Ooh. Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity. And another rabbit. And um, another, and another, and another. Tweety birds, and another. tweety birds. Oh. My birds, where did they come from? Out of your hat. Stop it, Strawberry. But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly. Ah, jelly! It's a jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood. <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Party food. We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh. I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh no, the birthday cake. <laughs> there he is. Naughty Gaston, come here. <laughs> He's stuck in the icing. Don't worry, Gaston, we'll rescue you. Oh, now I'm stuck. Ah, uh -huh. I'm stuck as well. I'm stuck too. <gasps> Time for the cake. Keep still. Pretend to be toys. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Ah! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your, your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> 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 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Planet Bong. Wow, a flying saucer. Hello, Holly. It is I, Zyros, from Planet Bong. Oh, hello, Zyros. Nice to see you again. What's all this noise? Is it an alien invasion? No, it's our friend Zyros from Planet Bong. We have come for help from the Wise One. The Wise One? That must be me. No, dear. I think he means the wise old elf. Oh, yes. Smarty Pants. He lives at the Great Elf Tree over there. Thank you. We will go and look for Smarty Pants. <laughs> Cyrus, the alien. Hello. Hello, Elf Ben. We are looking for the one they call Smarty Pants. He must mean the wise old elf. Did someone say my name? Goodness me, alien. <gasps> we need your help, Smarty Pants. Well, of course. Anything I can do. Is it true you can solve any problem? Yes, I can solve any problem. Good. We have a big problem. Once upon a time, our home planet was a wonderful planet. It was covered in plants and all was good. There was everything we needed and we were surrounded by beautiful flowers. We worked happily in our factories, and everything was fine. It sounds very nice. Yes, it was. But now it is very hot, and the plants do not grow anymore. Oh, that's a shame. So we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic, and I'm an elf. So, you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants, and I will save your planet with uh, 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 magic. But wise old elf, elves don't do magic. Shh, don't worry about it, Ben. Good. We go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bong. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. Ooh. Cool! But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me! A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no! It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thank you, wise old elf. Kitchen sink. Wow, you got all that into your bag. Yes, it's my magic bag. All aboard! Planet Bong! We're going on holiday in a flying saucer to Planet Bong. Holiday, here we come. Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? Ah! 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 Ah!
Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold, the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilet? What if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach? Yes. It is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No. It can make anything in the universe, but not jelly. Which is a shame, because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly plant! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurised spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. <laughs> Mmm, magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. Here forever, aren't we? No, we have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh, uh... I will open the engine. Now, Smarty Pants will go outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. Hmm, <laughs> this looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? I'm the fairy helper, remember? Well, don't touch anything. This is advanced alien technology capable of travelling across the universe at the speed of light. Although, it is very like plumbing. Maybe if I give it a kick. <laughs> Why don't you just give it a push? Give it a push? This technological miracle? You just gave it a kick. Oh, uh, OK. Let's give it a push. It's just like getting a car to start. OK, Mr Zyros, give it a bit of gas. OK. Push! <laughs> Nothing. More gas. OK. Whoa! It worked! They went off like a, a rocket. Next stop, Planet Bomb. Hey! Hey, come back! They've left us! That's outrageous! Help! 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 Will Nanny Plum and the wise old elf be lost in space forever? Find out next time in Planet Bong, Episode 2. Planet 
It's Bong, episode two. Help! Help! We're lost in deep space. I can't believe they just left us behind. I hope they turn the spaceship around and come back for us. Yes, otherwise we'll be floating here together for all eternity. How long is eternity? A very, very long time. Oh, well, let's play a game while we're waiting. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Stars. Yes, you're good at this. Can I have another go? If you must. I spy with my little eye something beginning with, um, S. Stars. No, space. Ha, <laughs> you see, this is a really good game. This is going to be a very long eternity. Holiday, here we come. Soon, we will be at Planet Bong. But what about the wise old elf and nanny? Oh, we left them behind. Well, it was nice knowing them. No, Daddy, we have to go back for them. Yes, without smarty pants, we cannot make Planet Bong beautiful again. Stars. No. Space. No. Oh, all right. It was stars. Can I have another go? No. Oh. Wise old elf! Nanny! Saved! We're saved! Saved from an eternity of I Spy. Oh, don't worry. We can carry on on board. There's loads of things. Spaceship. Uh, space suit. Oh. Smarty pants. When we get to Planet Bong, you will make all the plants grow again. Uh, of course. Listen, Nanny, when we get to Planet Bong, I may need a little bit of help. Yes, I am the fairy helper, and I already helped you mend the flying saucer. Yes, this might be a bit bigger. How bigger? Big! We are here, Planet Bong. Wow! Planet Bong is all sand and hot. The perfect holiday planet. <gasps> We're going into the ground! I am home again, and I have brought Smarty Pants to save our planet. The great leader of Planet Bong is here to celebrate this special meeting of peoples. Hello! He's tiny! Yes. On Planet Bong, we get smaller as we get older. Hello! Who said that? <laughs> He's down there, Daddy. Oh, hello! Hello! Say hello, everybody. The great leader is very old. It is a fantastic honour for you to meet him. Say hello, Gaston. <laughs> hello! <gasps> Gaston's eaten the great leader! Uh. Naughty Gaston, spit the great leader out. <coughs> Terribly sorry, he's not really house trained. Uh, yes. <coughs> As our special guests, we will now welcome you with a song. What a horrible noise! When are they going to start playing the tune? This is our national anthem. And delightful it is too. Cyrus, why do you live underground? Once, Planet Bong was covered in plants. Everywhere was green and beautiful, and the people were happy. Then the plants began to die out. It became too hot to live on the surface, so we moved underground. Everyone lives underground? Yes, even the animals. Animals? <laughs> Whoa! Ah, an alien monster! Don't worry, it is just a flobber gurgle quat splog. It is a pet. <laughs> oh, the flobber gurgle thwat splog is so cute. <laughs> Mummy, can we take the flobber gurgle thwat splog back home with us, please? I think it is much happier living here, darling. Oh. Um, when do we go to the beach? Now. We will take the lift.
Lovely big beach. But where's the sea? There is no sea. So where can we swim? Nowhere. There is no water. Not for swimming, not for drinking, not for anything. Nothing but sand. Yes, just sand and sand and sand and sand and sand. Yes, Planet Bong is sand and sand and sand. Planet Bong is a door. So, this isn't a holiday? No, it's a rescue mission, Your Majesty. Yes! Smarty Pants is here to save us! Please, Smarty Pants, make the plants grow. Uh, yes. I've given this problem a lot of thought, and I believe that I, Smarty Pants, have the answer. Good. So, without further ado, I will hand over to my fairy helper. Me? Yes. Just magic the plants up, would you? Oh, right. It is very excellent. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, please do the rest of the planet. What? The whole planet? Yes. But I'm Nanny Plum, not an interplanetary terraforming bioengineer. Do you mean this is it? Yes. Plants aren't easy to do. Lots of fiddly bits. Oh. So, Smarty Pants, you cannot save us after all? Uh, well, no. Thank you for trying. So, Planet Bong will never again have lots of plants? And be beautiful once more? No. Wait a minute. Plants need water to grow. Yes. And if you had lots of water, you could have lots of plants. Yes. So, we just need to make it rain. I can do that. Rain's much easier to make than plants. It's just water. Then, please, make it rain. Magic wand on Planet Bong. Make it rain loud and strong. Nothing is happening. Did the magic work? Yes, it worked. Look up. Clouds. Yes, and lots of them. And clouds mean... Rain! <laughs> Coming back! Yay! Gosh, they're growing so fast! Yes, they needed water. The flowers look so pretty and smell so lovely. It's an alien paradise! Thank you so much. You have saved Planet Bong. It's all so lovely. An innocent, unspoiled world of nature. Gentle and beautiful in its loveliness. Yes. Right, lads. Back to work. What's happening? We are starting up our factories again. Supposed to make all that smoke? Yes, they always do that. How lovely. And now you can have your holiday. Uh, you know what? I think we'll just go home. Very well. I will take you home. <laughs> Next stop, Planet Earth. <laughs> You are home. Thank you again, Smarty Pants. Oh, it was nothing. For you, maybe. I magicked up a whole planet's worth of rain. To honour our alien guests, the Elf Band will now play a tune. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oompa, 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 what beautiful music! Is this your national anthem? Ah, uh, who knows? It could be. It is wonderful. And now I must return to planet. 